Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So I'm Selena and today I'll be going through a dorm tour of where I live at Western University in London, Ontario, and I live in Elgin Hall. So this is one of the many residences and I'll be going through my dorm, a suite, because this is a suite style residence. So a suite basically means it's different from traditional or the hybrid. So traditional is where you have two people sharing one room, hybrid's a little bit different, but suite is just, in our suite at least, we have four people and each person gets one room and we share one kitchen. So I'll be going over how I arranged my dorm and also some general impressions of the place and you know what my first few days were like. So stay tuned for that at the very end. Right when you enter, this is what you'll see. So we have our kitchen and it came with a microwave, uh, the stove, but then we had to bring the kettle and the air filter so currently we don't have that much stuff in it because we don't, all of us, like we don't cook that much, but I will take you around to see the refrigerator that they did provide. And then we have these really tall four cabinets, which is super handy for splitting up between the four of us. And then on this side is where my other two suite mates live. So the one straight forward is the bathroom. And then these are the rooms. And we also have these massive closets for storage so right when you enter that you'll see our living room so it's shared and we have a coffee table two chairs that little couch and what's super nice about our room is that we have an amazing view to Medsid, which is the residence across from us and if you take a look this is it there's actually not that much people today because it is the first day of classes and if we look to our right crossing the street that's how you'll get to the UCC Hill by crossing the bridge over the Thames River. Now for this room, we don't have the keys for, so I don't really know what they put in there. And then from this perspective, this is our kitchen. So it's super nice to have it led. It's great for, you know, inviting other residences and people from a building to hang out in a room. Uh, and what was really nice is that when we moved in, they came with these booklets on the table called, you know, Internet Connection Guide, teaching us how to connect to the internet here. Now walking back from our living room, now we're going to head over to my room. So we take a left here and then you'll see this hallway. So I'm actually using my iPad to record because the quality is super nice. So as you can see, our closet has no metal bars for hanging stuff. We actually asked them and they said only one side of the suite will have it. So this is my suite mate's room. It's a washroom, so I'm not going to open the light because it is super loud. So the washroom has, you know, these cabinets, if we open this, we just use this for bath stuff, toiletries, and then we each designated between the two of us to have one of these little cupboards. And then this is the washroom, so it came with one toilet paper roll. And then across from us are these shower racks, and finally the shower. Shower pressure is pretty good. The water is pretty nice as well. Let's go this way, this is our this is a view of our living space from the washroom. So now entering my room. Yeah, so this little cute room. Um, when you come in, you'll see my desk. So I have my house keys there with the purple lanyard, my backpack, and this is how I organize my desk. So I didn't put that many wall decorations right now because there's obviously a lot of rules regarding that. But on my desk, I have my uh, you know stationary my computer that's charging so it's actually really nice about these desks that they they have two holes for your cords so I have my alarm clock here you can't really see it says it is a three just very light so again those holes I haven't written much today is the first day of classes so on top I have you know a bunch of other things I use now on the side I actually brought my own printer just because even though my roommates do have them, I wanted to bring my own. And then on the floor, you'll see these O week bags. So O week is Western's orientation week. So it's just one week, starting actually this Monday, where kids just do events and join events and then meet new people. So in my cabinet, this one, I just have some other things. And then at the really bottom, I have like some food. Now starting from this side, you'll see the window. 
So I did bring one cactus and this is my bed. So this is a double bed and I brought, you know, a pineapple stuffy. And then across we have the closet. So there's a mirror and I brought a plastic bag dispenser, which my mom actually made for me. So this stuff is pretty handy. The closet is pretty big. Um, I actually have a Western calendar hanging on that wall, but it fell down. Um, but the closet, I brought a luggage and like five large bags and everything could fit in here pretty nicely. So some general impressions of when I first got here. So today is actually the first day of classes and you'll notice that I have these two wristbands. So because we are going through COVID, the blue one is to prove that you got your vaccines. Western is making it mandatory for everyone to get both of their vaccines. You don't need to get both when you move in, at least one though. And then, so that's to prove that. And then this purple one, I don't know if you can see from there, but it says O week, which is Western's pretty popular, like orientation week for freshmen. So we come in, we spend a week doing really fun events or having concerts, which we're super lucky to have this year. Last year, they didn't have that. Um, you know, a lot of like residence meeting events, faculty meeting events, and meeting new people. So when I first got in, it was actually a pretty smooth transition to Elgin Hall. There were people welcoming, welcoming us in. Um, the one part that was a little bit, you know, unexpected was that we couldn't use elevators during the move-in few days. So obviously because I live on the fifth floor, I had to walk up all those stairs and I was not used to that, but you know, we love a good exercise. Um, some other like things I really like about this residence is that because we have our own rooms, we have a lot of privacy. It is pretty quiet here actually, so you do have to put more effort to socialize. Um, but the major, major disadvantage of living here is that it is a little bit harder to socialize, but also you have to cross a bridge to get to main campus. Um, so if your classes are like across campus, this is one of the further residences. But lucky for me, a lot of my BMOS, so that's like Bachelor of Management Organizational Studies. I'm in social science department, so a lot of my classes are pretty close by. Um, and then also the West Elgin like floor wings building is kind of split in half. So I live on the west side. So in order to get from the west to the east, instead of a typical residence where you could probably just like walk across, this one you need to go through the lobby. So if I want to go to the east side, I have to go from my door and my floor down to the lobby and then up to whichever east room I want to go to. So that's one of the biggest things. So uh, buildings kind of separated like that with the two sides. How so obviously you do have to put more effort to socialize with the east sides, but our softs. So obviously when you're transitioning, you're not alone. You have softs. So there's students who are in years above you who have done, you know, similar programs maybe, but they've at least stayed at Elgin. So they help you. And they told us that we'll at least be able to meet our entire side, but you might not be able to know the other side. So overall, my general impression of Algin so far is probably like a nine out of 10. Um, still, you know, experimenting, getting used to things, but stay tuned for more videos on our university experience, you know, how we take notes, how we study our dorm and residence life. And yeah, if you like what you saw today, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and ask us any questions you have because we'd love to answer them. Until next time, the Quartoon. Thank you.